Hello good people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing six videos, this is the last of the lot and I hope I can finish it. So this is a re-review, as I told you I'm going to do some re-reviews because I bought full bottles. Previously I've covered them from samples. So this fragrance I reviewed it over two years back, like two years ago. And that time I still have the sample luckily. I, had, I always loved how to, you know I have a funny story with Prada Light, I'll tell you. So this is the sample, if you see my previous review, you'll see the sample and I still have some juice left. So what happens with Prada is this, last time I had Prada Amber sample, okay, in Malaysia, Pradas are expensive. You spend about nearly 85 to $100 to get a Prada. So I was like, nah, I cannot afford Prada Amber, it's too expensive, it's such a beautiful fragrance. This one, I'm going to take some time, this is the last review, so I'll take some time. You guys know my love for this, it's a luxurious soapy scent, and it has a beautiful juice color, beautiful bottle, beautiful, but I mean, this is a stunner. So. This was my first love, then I followed it with uh, my journey. I'm very happy and proud of my journey because I got to discover a lot of things. So this is a flanker, the discontinued, Prada Amber, intense, more like uh, Tom Ford Noir. This is a very black soap scent, okay? So what happened with this one, I had a small sample. I bought Amen and then the lady gave me uh, Prada Amber. And I keep sniffing it and I just saw the juice color. I was always tempted. I saved up so much money, I didn't even eat properly. <laughs> I saved that food, money, everything, and I bought the following 10 days. I bought this one, a small bottle I have somewhere, and then I just like sold how long this lasts. I love Prada House, fresh, clean, soapy. So, talking about fresh, clean, and soapy, uh, while I was reviewing this, you know, I always spray once in a while, and I'm just like, this is similar to something. And I did compare it with, I think, uh, Diorum O, which is discontinued, a bit more pricey now. And Dior's are a little bit more expensive than other brands. Then I'm like, I have to buy this. I always said, you know, I always have to buy this full bottle someday. And then recently I saw Perfume Bangladesh brought the stocks. And I'm like, I went on shopping spree. Um, I caught a lot of fragrances recent times and most of them are from Perfume Bangladesh. And I saw only one box. I was like, this is low. <laughs> and I ended up buying the box. So this is not new fragrance. I will let you know what I feel about it today. I have three versions of it and there are two more. Uh, there is a one splash version and there's an absolute or darker version that was, I haven't tried it. Um, so Prada Loam, it's a very big box, okay, black and blue combo. Loam basically referring to water, so this is more watered down Prada Loam. Um, and this EDT concentration. This is 100 ml, they also have a 50 ml bottle. I just love how they look. And these bottles are so luxurious. The grip is kind of like a fake, su fake suede leather. leather. The name in front, the juice, it looks very nice. Heavy glass base, if you drop it on your foot, you might be injured. Uh, it has a little bit cut or like a slanted here, you know. It's very interesting. So the grip is so good. So it's almost like half circle. There is a Prada up there. Okay. So these are uh, used to be like $75, $85, but now they come down to like $55 to $60 more like. Uh, it's about $55 for 100 ml. Excellent value. So yeah, I mean, so happy. So I also have... Happen to I want to do a comparison, but I'm just gonna show you. This is the original Prada Loam. I went through one bottle. This is my second bottle. This one comes with this black um, suede thing. So I had a bet with one of my friends, Tanvir Zaman Bhai. He said you're gonna buy this. There was a bet of nothing basically, but I said no. This is too simple. I like it, but it's not worth the money. Back in the time, eighty-five dollars. That iris. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm a big fan of it. I bought it. I lost the bet, <laughs> but I'm very happy. So this one. Then the Prada Loam Intense, the black one, the patchouli, the dark leather. This one is a compliment beast. This is a monster of a fragrance for cold weathers. So I thought like, let's just get this. I'm not gonna buy Durum O, okay? I decided. Durum O, the small bottle I will use with the stick once in a while. But this is a fragrance I would buy half the price of almost of the Dior. So what's so good about it, okay? This fragrance, if you have Prada Loam, this is gonna be easy love for you. It's a little bit different, okay? Yeah, let's spray this here, okay? Beautiful spray on this product, okay? So, when you move your hand, you smell that beautiful, like, known DNA of Prada Loam, and you have some iris, at the same time, some watery accords, okay? And it's so comforting, it's so easy, so light, uh, even if you feel Prada Loam is already light, you know? Prada Loam and this, sometimes people may say this is redundant, but I wouldn't say so. If you love this line, you can collect all of them. But the splash one I heard is a very poor performer. 
So this one will get you a lot of compliments at workplace. If you're wearing this, this is so luxurious, so soapy. It's clean with the fresh iris. I think there's a neroli perhaps there. I'm not sure. And this smells so clean. First thing is so clean. It's like a white shirt and it's a bright day, blue skies, some clouds, white clouds, no chance of rain. And you just picked up your shirt and you just put it up, fresh shirt, and you're putting up a perfume right after the shower. It gives you that enhance the shower feel. This is what this one will do. Watery, soapy, luxurious without being too soapy. I just love smelling this. It's just so, so posh, okay? Women, smell this on you. I'll tell you one thing. You might think you need to wear something very oud-like, heavy, masculine, skanky, or uh, something like a leather. Women don't love that. Women love to smell clean and fresh, okay? Moment they smell aquatics, they go like, <sighs> you know, like if you see <laughs> Twin Half Men. So the brother goes like to Charlie, I think, uh, what's the other guy's name? Charlie, Sheen's brother name was what? Ellen, yeah. So Ellen goes like, but she's like, he is in love with this one lady and then uh, he thinks like he is way out of her league. And he goes like, you know, when he sees her, he feels like, <sighs> so I'm just trying to make the sound. Women smell fresh perfume on you like Versace Purim, Dior Sauvage, this, like it or not, women love that. Women love fresh and clean men. This gives that feel which is why I have the bottle with me. This is a 10 out of 10. If you love Prada Lone, if you love the or, the Intense, all three you can get. I'll try the Absolute, the new one, even the Splash, but you get pure luxurious bottle. These are worth at least $100 in my humble opinion. What they give you, uh, this is what they should charge, but they are not gonna, right? So Prada Milano, uh, Prada Lone Low winner, okay? 10 out of 10. The performance, perhaps, perhaps one thing I just wanna tell you, it, uh, this Prada Loam will outperform this by a couple of hours perhaps, but this is still good. Five to six hours, you'll smell fresh and clean. This is officially gym and workout as well as office, office, office work professional scent. So suit it up, put formal wearing, you can go for it. Out of the shower you can put, you can wear on a date as well because it's simple yet elegant. So if it's like an elegant date, uh, not super impressed, you're trying to her impress her, you can go with it, she'll just love holding your arm and just walk with you because you smell confident, clean, and a nice man, okay? That's what I get from Prada Lom Low. Uh, 10 out of 10 for this perfume. Thank God I have this. I just wish they narrow down the box. It's too big. If you are supposed to keep this box, um, you run out of space. Even though nice detailing, but uh, half of the box will do, you know? Like, look at this. Just, just look at this. Look at the bottle size and look at the box size. It's like you can fit in two bottles of this in this box. Anyway, that's just uh, enough talk. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.